Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another daily update video. So basically, I I got my uh, my siren to max level yesterday. I think I was very very close to max level at um, at night. And when I did the PvP video, or maybe I was already max level. But anyways, I got her to max level. I got my Vicky to Evo 2, which I did yesterday for the arena video. And I also tested her out for, for PvP. And I, I'm really happy with her. I think she's definitely a lot better than the Fire Arthur, in my opinion. Um, they do the exact same job. But the only difference is their dif their, their stats. Their stats distribution is, um, is different. I think an Evo 3 Fire Arthur is definitely stronger, but an Evo 3 like Dark Toria versus an Evil 2 Fire Arthur, she's definitely going to win out. Um, I think the main weakness of the Fire Arthur is actually that he's attack type. Like, attack type monsters are good for like a lot of things, but in, in PvP, in my personal opinion, like from just my experience that I've had in PvP, obviously I'm not top 100, but like, I, I still get by, alright? I can still get by. Um, I, I noticed that you are like if, if you're running a CC there's lots of strategy like a lot of people run nukers run whatever but I don't think like rush hour is that much of a problem where I need to like you know finish teams really really fast I just want to be able to win every single fight and um, you know defend really really stable and you know win defenses and stuff like that so I I do think that um, having a monster that is somewhat tankier like in stats is probably better for their skill set, like the skill sets that they have, is it's actually better for that monster to be tanky rather than for that monster to be, uh, you know, attack based. The, the also a really really good thing about the Dark Victoria is that she's she's obviously Dark type, so she does a lot of damage with her um, with her crits. Like I don't think you really even need any attack on her. I'm probably it's probably a waste to build attack on her, given how low her attack stat is. I'm probably in the future going to do like HP defense crit rate. And uh, through the crit rate, I would uh, and you know crit damage bonus, she will still be able to, you know, deal some damage. But at the same time, she's gonna be really, really tanky in order to just basically survive forever and just keep stunning, just keep um, keep spamming this defense break, you know. So I don't know. That's just my opinion. Obviously, people that played in the first month, people higher up probably are gonna disagree with me but that's just uh, that's just how I how I play the game so far you know how I've how I've been progressing through the arena and um, progressing through the game um, my my main goal today is actually to get my Yuki to, to max level like it's gonna be very hard for for me to get her to six stars max level but I I definitely can get her to six stars today and while I'm farming her to max level I should be able to sell enough gems to get like a million gold and then use that gold to to six star her and then um, yeah and then just keep leveling her until she's six starred and then afterwards I'll spend a bit of time in in golems b9 again to farm some triangle slots and at the same time make some more gold and I'm gonna look towards six starring the the water miho next, um, and then obviously after that it's the it's, it's her turn. But I probably won't be able to 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 do anything for her too soon because she's um, like I need to get her to evil two to do the fusion, and I don't have enough gleams. Like I have one gleam right now. I can get one for the for the tower, and I can get another one like right before the Jack event ends. Well, not Jack, um, Jill event ends. Um, another holy gleam and then I'll be able to to use those to to make her Evo 2 and complete the fusion and then basically get her to um, you know from from four stars all the way to six stars in like a day and a half or so um, yeah that's that's actually just my main the main things I want to do so far this week um, Not not sure what I'm gonna test out afterwards, but I think it's a pretty good idea to make this sap team because this sap team is available to a lot of people. So like, pretty much everyone can make it. Like, you don't need to use exactly use her. You can just use like the the water Miho. Uh, you can use the water Sea Star, and you don't exactly need to use her. You can use another like water based healer, like the water Mini Cat or something like that. Um, you know, that's 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 not even Nat Four, but I don't think these monsters are too hard to get. Like, you know. Um, Hana, Yuki, they're 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 four stars. They're not five stars. Well, obviously, certain four stars, like if you're trying to get a certain four four star, it's going to be hard to get. But you're going to at least have something to use. Um, there's a lot of replacements for these monsters because, like, 
you know this this skill set's very very common like having saps a lot of monsters have that um yeah that's actually that's that's basically it but i i'm gonna get my team ready i'm just gonna basically work on trying to get enough um get them to six stars first and then also get enough gold to upgrade their runes to like at least plus 12 that's probably gonna take me like two three million gold at the very least so I need probably like at the end of this, all all these astrogens will be will be converted to gold by then, and then I'll be able to uh, try and farm golems. And I think once I'm able to farm B10, I no longer have to like just keep buying astrogens. I can just uh, just refresh, do the do the method that everybody does, like the variant method, the nerfed toned down version of the variant method to get me enough astrogens to keep farming and basically just. Like there's there's nothing for me to really do. I basically just need to um, keep farming until I have good enough runes or gems, and eventually move on to dragons from there on. Um, yeah, there's there there's there's not. Wait, should I should I buy that Victoria Soulstone? Do I have any? I don't think I have fire. Oh wait, I do. I have thirty pieces. All right, I'm gonna have to buy it. One less fusion for me to do, if I if I do get it. I think it's definitely worth it. Like buying the, these stones for the specific monsters that you want, it's definitely a lot better than the eggs. Cause like if you think about it, um, you buy if you buy four eggs, it's basically the equivalent of buying like you know those those pieces, um, like the the five times pieces, ten times, which gets you the monster. So to summon a monster, you need like half a million, but um, to summon four eggs, you also need half a million. So you might as well buy like, and you're not guaranteed to get a four star and four eggs. And if you if you do get three stars, they're pretty useless. Like you basically you either release them or you do um you do the the fusion or rebirth. I mean, while it's like during rebirth time. Um, but there's not really any other other use for them besides that. So you're not even guaranteed to get anything in four eggs. So you might as well buy the pieces. The pieces are definitely worth it and like you can choose which monsters that you actually want to work towards so definitely get the piece get get whatever pieces that you need to to for, for whatever certain monster that you want um, yeah I think that's that that's pretty much it so um, I don't know my, my farm times like I think I, I should show a little bit of gameplay because you guys always see me talking about stuff. You, know, you guys never see me like actually play through the game and do things. Basically, I usually just farm this map um, for the sirens. I use this team. Like, I don't have another wood monster. I need a good wood nuker to do this. I mean, obviously, I could just use her and get her runes uh, or her gems a little bit better. But I'm, you know, I don't really want to invest in gemming her up. So I basically just run this team. It's pretty, it's pretty slow in my opinion. It takes like. Uh, a minute and like 15 seconds or so to do this usually actually wait it might take longer now because I, I did it with two nukers in my when I was leveling my dark Victoria that's last when I timed it yeah actually it might take longer than that <laughs> might take two minutes um, but now that I do have my dark Victoria evil 2 she definitely does a little bit more damage I just wish I, I could get her as a variant and then I can get that um, attack leader. Because attack leader, like global attack leader, is just going to be so good for everything. Alright, um, I I think. Wait, wait, maybe I should just. Maybe I should time it. It always happens, like, whenever I stop recording and then I go in to farm, I just get a bunch of random monsters popping up for me to capture. I don't know if it's just me, but I, I ba barely get any um, any of those like rare four star monsters. They just never appear. Last time I seen a Boltwing, it was like three, four, no, it was like a month ago. It was probably a month ago. I haven't even been playing for that long. I like I think the last Boltwing I saw was like I've only seen like one Boltwing that isn't scripted. Um, I think it's two minutes clear time, right? Yeah, one minute and twenty six seconds, but still, it's it's really really slow. Um, what? Oh shit! Why did I do the repeat? I don't know if you guys have any recommendations or tips to like get my farming time up without raising new monsters. I mean, I don't really have time to raise another like you know, 
OP AoE nuker like the, uh, what's, what's her name? The, the Water Mona. Like, Water Mona just farms maps super fast. I think the Light Jack, if you, if you have it, um, can farm maps really, really fast as well. Because it has, um, it has Morale Boost Hunter. And it's light type, so it has like 20% base crit. Not as good as the dark type for crit damage, but still like 10% extra crit rate means that you can like push to like 100% if you put like if you have like good crit rate subs. And then basically you just crit on every single wave and just clear through it super fast. Oh wait, I think I might be able to do it. I use I can use I can get an evil two light jack, but I can't get it to evil three. If I if I had like one more gleam, I can I can use it to make my uh make a light jack evil two and just use it temporarily for like super farming. And then keep like three more light jacks that I had like left over for for uh for the future. I don't know, I think I, I think it might be a really good idea for me in these like daily update videos to show show you guys a run of everything, so you guys can see how I how I basically uh, clear everything. But this is what I've been farming. Like when I talk about farming, this is what I do. Oh, so oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. All right, that's it. I'm pissed off. We're relogging. Wait, it might be faster for me to do another run than to relog. <laughs> All right, you guys have to sit through sit through me farming another one but if this is a YouTube video you guys can just skip don't don't skip I get paid more if you don't skip um, anyways just uh, hashtag sellout hashtag sellout um, I just I just wish I could farm faster you know it's just it's so slow it's like a minute I mean I don't have the luxury to raise a farmer right now I think maybe I should have raised farmers in the future in the in the like the beginning like back in the day when I play like Summoner's War, you just have like farmers that basically go in and they can like clear maps and like AoEs, like reset skills, do AoEs. I think in this game it's like the morale boosters. Because morale boosters, if you if you have them with really good gems, basically like first turn they just nuke and then they get like a full uh, full SP bar. And then they um, they use their second skill and just nuke. Like just they just keep nuking, like AoE nuke, full SP every single turn. My, my voice is cracking up, it's like really weird. <clears throat> I might be a little bit sick. Oh wait, did I stop the auto? Yes, I stopped the auto. You never get anything good. Oh shit, did I click play again? Oh, at least I didn't click. I didn't click uh, quick replay, alright? I, I did not click quick replay. Or farm those later. Um, yeah, for B9, I still use this team. It's the same thing when I talk about farming golems, farming gems. Farming gold, this is what I do. So you guys can actually see it in action instead of me talking about it. I... I realize, like, there's a lot of people trying to, like, you know, get into B7, B8, B9. There's a lot of new players coming in, and that's kind of like the big, um, like, I think there's a gap between, between, like, farming B4, and then farming B5, B6, and then there's a gap between that and B7. But I think the gap's not that big, actually, for B6 and B7, because, like, um, B5 was actually a lot harder. Like, I, I just basically started farming B7. And then once I started farming B7, I went back and farmed B5. So it was actually easier for me to actually farm B7. B7 is super easy. You can just farm it with, um, if you have like five monsters, like five, or not five, like four wood monsters that are like just, um, love, or five stars, like five star max level. If you just get four wood monsters to five star max level with one of them being a healer, you can do it. You can do, uh, you can do B, B7 pretty easily. And then I guess once you start doing B7, you either, um, I think the fastest way is actually to six star monsters. Because once you do B7, you can, you can get a lot of gold. And then you get the same amount of gold in B7 as in like, B, the same amount in B7 as B8 and B9. Because they drop the same quality of runes, they just drop different gem slots. Um, 
And then you can you can make a lot of money, and then you can just six star a bunch of monsters. And once you six star those monsters, you can just use those monsters to farm like B A and B nine. Um, they have to be the right monsters, though. They can't just be random whatever monsters. But um, once you start farming B A B nine, you basically you have access to all the gem slots, and then you can start working towards B ten. But I don't think anyone has found a proper solution to farming B ten. Like um, in terms of just like regular progression you know a lot of people use the use like took advantage well not take advantage of, that actually sounds really bad but like it's not bad to take advantage of like event monsters and stuff um but they they took advantage of the like n light nike from the first month getting her to evil 3 really easily and also um the dark jack you know the dark jack with the per turn heal like I'm trying to right now I'm I'm experimenting I'm ex I can't even talk I'm experimenting and I'm trying to test out a team that works for B10 without using a passive healer you know I I want to make a team that works with an, with active healers um and yeah that's I think that's the main challenge right now just I don't think there's like people just you know giving up proper solution to, to getting into B10 um, besides the people that started the first month and had access to you know a lot of OP shit. Um, I'm trying to find a way around that because I, I started playing the game a little bit later. But yeah that's that's basically my my motivation for for making the SAP team. And also they made things a lot harder. Like there used to be prop like actual other solutions that you can do for B10. I was thinking like a full sustain comp. I, I talked about this in an earlier video and someone asked me in one of the comments. Um, they, they were theory crafting a full sustain comp, which is what I what I planned to do before. Um, the the concept is very very similar to using like a passive healer. So so it's basically like say you use the dark jack for example to passively heal every single turn and that's how you get your team to stay alive what if you had four monsters that had the ability to basically passive heal themselves um over and over again so i basically tried to put put together a team with like the fire wild fang the fire vampire the fire um succubus and the fire uh or the the, the wood uh flash wing or bolt wing um and they all have some sort of HP siphon or adrenaline on their first skill. And the problem with this now is you can't really do it because the B10 Golems has attack down. And if he puts attack down on any one of your units, like with the change to attack down now, it'll, it'll decrease your overall attack by half. It used to just decrease this by half, but like, you know, say for example, like my, my Wild Fang has a pretty decent amount of attack. It'll only de it used to only decrease his white number by half. But now it decreases the total by half, and that won't be enough sustain for me to keep myself alive, you know. So, um, 433 kind of kind of fucked me over on that, but I I adapt, I adapt, and I try to try to bring um, new strategies to the table to try to try to complete it. They they did introduce something that um, help help would help me work around that, and that is by giving us the fusion to make these two evil three. I don't think you necessarily need them to be evil three, but um, it's gonna be a lot easier for me since I I can get them to Evo three. I don't know. I don't, I don't think this is kind of fair for the newer players. Like it's not it's not like everybody has these two monsters. But I think they're trying to push towards people towards the sapper side. Um, you know, try to build a sap team because they want a slow progression down. They don't want people like just nuking through everything, um, or else things get I don't know things get boring and shit and then people quit. I think it's. It, it's more profitable for them to slow progression down and basically force you to raise more monsters and then you have to progress through each stage slowly. They did a pretty good job with that all the way up to like Golden Speed 10 but they, I think they kind of made a little bit a little bit of a mistake by not um, I don't know I guess giving players another option besides like using the Dark Jack or Water Persephone for B10 but I'm trying to put a I'm trying to work work around that Oh my god, this was such a long video. I, I ranted for way too long. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.